I've written an article about some of the things that Democrats have said about Republicans over the years, because after all, Joe Biden wants to usher in the return to civility. You know, the civility that we used to enjoy when, in 1964, Barry Goldwater, the Republican nominee, accepted the nomination, and California's Democratic governor, Pat Brown, said, and I quote, the stench of fascism is in the air. End of quote. William Clay Sr., whose son is still in Congress, Missouri, said this about President Reagan. He was, quote, trying to replace the Bill of Rights with fascist precepts lifted verbatim from Mein Kampf. End of quote. Coretta Scott King, 1980. Quote, I am scared that if Ronald Reagan gets into office, we're going to see more of the Ku Klux Klan and a resurgence of the Nazi party, end of quote. John Dingo, whose wife Debbie is in the seat he used to occupy, referred to the then Republican-controlled House as the Duma and the Reichstag, referring to the body that was set up by the Tsar of Russia and the parliament in Germany that brought Hitler to power. The Gingrich-run House of Representatives was likened to the Duma and the Reichstag. About Bush 41, George Herbert Walker Bush, Maxine Waters. Quote, I believe he is a racist for many, many reasons. He is a mean-spirited man who has no care or concern about what happens to the African-American community. I truly believe that, end of quote. About the Gingrich-controlled Republican Majority House, longtime Harlem Democrat Charlie Rangel in 1994 said, it's not S-word anymore, referring to a slur for Hispanics, or N-word anymore, referring to a slur for blacks. It's not S or N anymore. Republicans just say, let's cut taxes. End of quote. Ten years later, Rangel said this, George W. Bush is our Bull Connor. End of quote. For you youngins out there, Bull Connor was the sheriff, Alabama, Birmingham, who turned fire hoses and sick dogs on civil rights workers. Yeah, George W. Bush is our Bull Connor. By the way, he's a Democrat. Donna Brazil was Al Gore's campaign manager, losing campaign manager. 1999, interview with the Washington Post. She said, Republicans, quote, have a white boy attitude, which means I must exclude, denigrate, and leave behind. They don't see it or think about it. It's a culture. End of quote. The following year, 2000, Brazil took a swipe at Condoleezza Rice and Colin Powell. You know, tokens. Quote, the Republicans bring out Colin Powell and J.C. Watts, who at the time was a Republican House member in Oklahoma. The Republicans bring out Colin Powell. Pretty insulting to a man who, two tours of duty in Vietnam. The Republicans bring out Colin Powell and Representative J.C. Watts because they have no program, no policy. They'd rather take pictures with black children than feed them. End of quote. Bring out like a slave auction. About George W. Bush, Al Gore said, Bush's executive branch has made it a practice to try and control and intimidate news organizations. From PBS to CBS to Newsweek, and every day, they unleash squadrons of digital brown shirts to harass and hector any journalist who's critical of the president, end of quote. I was just watching a special on the death camp called Treblinka, Poland. Every day they unleash squadrons of digital brown shirts. Someday, for kicks, if you don't know what brown shirt is, Google it. And you'll know what exactly George W. Bush was compared to.